Hey guys, it's Matt over at S4OffRoad.com. Um, I wanted to cover some stuff today. I was hoping to get outside, but it's pretty rainy out. So I may carry the camera out there a little bit later, but uh, I may put the waterproof back case on the GoPro right over there. Um, I did want to cover a couple things. We'll go outside in a little while and probably take a look at my personal uh, Isuzu Trooper. Um, but there's some items that we're looking at offering that probably won't make it to the website till the springtime. Um, but we can let you know a little bit of what else is on the way. Um, right now we're in like a final stage of development for the uh, Trooper bumpers. Um, we've got a couple different things that we can do with them. But that'll all get laid out when we release those on the site. And we have some stuff out for coating that we haven't been able to get pictures of. Um, some stuff that I've been polishing myself. So there's, there's a lot of uh, little things. Um, our shop, for the most part, is geared towards production of the parts. And not really working on vehicles. So uh, I don't really do any of that anymore. I can do want to definitely cover, you know, just just certain things about how I want to run the business and um, the biggest thing is I, I want to run it with the customer I don't want to actually run stuff I don't want to put a product out on the shelf that uh, that's the way you buy it it's either that way or no way um, and I want people to be able to customize pretty much anything they want uh, within reason you know but uh, headers we're, this is another thing that's not on the website. We're in development for a uh, stainless steel hand fabricated header, um, a shorty, uh, with a stainless down tube for the uh, Isuzu Troopers, the 4Z D1 and the 4Z E1. That's the 2, 3, and the 2, 6 liter. So the, there's headers offered out there already. Um, I've tried them and not had good luck with them. Uh, so we kind of want something that's going to fit properly, not obstruct flow. Uh, that might be something that will go up under like a special products request. And if I can get something simple like uh, an order of five or something, um, then I'll make them all in a row. But doing them one at a time, it needs to be fixtured and it's really tough to set up to do that just all the time. You spend more time setting the thing up than you do actually welding it. Um, and then the welding it itself, I mean the whole thing is going to be TIG welded. Uh, so that takes extra time. There's a lot of extra preparation. And the tubing is expensive. Stainless tubing is not cheap. Uh, it's not a regular grade of stainless. It's actually a heat resistant grade of stainless. So stuff like that is, it's tough. We're trying to work our way through that. That's what a lot of our like uh, production delays and stuff are from. I'm thinking sometime in the next week or two, I should see my stickers come in. Um, and t-shirts not long after that. Uh, hopefully I'll have those posted on the site. And, oh, something else that's pretty important too. Um, right now I'm doing like a small time PayPal thing. I have a personal PayPal, I'm just going to use that for now, and uh, what what will happen in the near future is I'll set up my online store. I'm actually setting up the online store right now, but it's so difficult, um, just there's so much to it. It has an inventory set up and stuff like that, so uh, I don't have any pictures of the air galley plugs on the website, so this is your chance to get to see them installed, and they're actually really cool. They do not rust. Um, so what I'll probably do now is, uh, like I said, it's pretty crappy out, it's raining really bad. I think I'm going to grab the camera and I'm going to walk outside and we'll pop open the hood on the trooper real quick. Okay, so it is raining and I can't stay out here very long because I don't want to get the camera wet, but we will kind of zoom in on this a little bit here. Um, I'll just give you a quick... Just, just a quick view of this thing. This is a, uh, a 1987 two-door trooper, long wheelbase. Uh, this is a 4ZD1, the 2.3 liter. Um, we did a number of things to it, actually. The bottom end is rebuilt. Uh, the top end is rebuilt. 
we have um, custom valves and springs we're not going to release that yet I'm still working on those um, we also have we're, we're testing out a different uh, cam grind um, we will be working in the near future on a fully adjustable cam pulley for these things we'll also probably like I was saying we'll be working on a replacement header something uh, like a short header uh, with a big down tube so that way it's a two piece it's easier to install and it'll fit a little bit better um, also we did an EMPI carb conversion on this one which is like a uh, Weber copy I have a Weber on the Suzuki um, the shop Suzuki uh, my truck actually has a totally different setup and we'll get into that later um, it's a little hazy now from the rain, but uh, I did do the polishing on this valve cover. Uh, it's really just a nice simple setup, and this thing's geared towards being what I would expect someone else to have, uh, so that we can develop some parts for it and make sure that everything works. We're not nearly done with the underside of the hood here, uh, but there's some things that I did want to point out. <coughs> All of these um, studs here, these are all stainless studs. Uh, these I left a little bit long because I wanted to mount these wire holders on them. Uh, but I do have different lengths of these steel studs. Uh, we also use zinc nuts or black oxide nuts for these things uh, because stainless on stainless threads tend to grab each other. And when you go to take them apart, you wind up uh, ripping all the threads off or they just won't come apart at all. Uh, the other thing too is we have these stainless plugs for the air galley here. These are machined out of billet uh, stainless steel hex stock. These fit perfectly. They match the profile in the bottom of the bore and they have straight threads so it's not just a modified pipe plug. It's not just a modified drain plug. This is actually CNC single point threaded from literally a bar of uh, stainless. So we have these in here. Um, you can see those I guess it's a little bit dark under here, um, but like I said, it's it's the weather's pretty bad outside, so it's kind of tough to see some of this stuff. Um, we did a real basic rebuild on our uh, power steering pump here. We're going to be offering these parts and these kits uh, because I couldn't find them anywhere else. Uh, down in this corner over here, uh, very dark, kind of hard to see. I'm going to see if I can get you some light with my phone. So uh, we've got... We've got our stainless standoff there for the power steering pump and our stainless stud kit. Um, I was just tired of fighting with those things, having them break, not knowing where to get anything, or people just cramming a bolt in there. Uh, bolt can work, but honestly this is my preferred way to do it, so that way I know we won't deal with rust. Uh, these bolts and nuts for the uh, intake are actually stainless. Um, as are all the washers and stuff, we switched that all over. Uh, and then we've got our basic fuel pressure regulator over here, uh, just with an auxiliary filter on it. Um, there's also a filter in the carburetor too. Uh, and then we've just restored some of this stuff lightly, uh, just to keep it clean and make sure that we have something clean to work with uh, when we're developing some of this stuff. So hopefully this thing will be in action pretty soon. I have a brand new set of 33 inch um, Goodyear MTR with Kevlars for it. Uh, those are on new Pro Comp rims. Um, only simulated beadlocks. This thing's not going to be rock crawling anytime soon or at all. Uh, so we'll see what happens. And also, if you've noticed, I have no grill on this thing. Um, and just two makeshift headlights for now. The reason for that is I am developing a CNC aluminum grill right now uh, to mimic the round headlight setup because the round headlight grills are so hard to get. As soon as we have those together, I'll get them up on the prototypes page. Uh, there's not a lot of testing with those. It's just more of a fitment thing. So once we get those straightened out, I'm going to offer those to you guys and uh, it should be a better solution than the factory grill. And you shouldn't have to worry about really um, rust or anything else because I believe we are going to do them out of aluminum. We've tried a couple different materials, but aluminum seems like it's going to work the best. So uh, we'll provide maybe like a hella light conversion kit with those so you can get rid of the uh, stock sealed beams. 
um, and we'll make sure that we offer buckets and all the hardware and everything else. Uh, we're also going to see if we can update the uh, turn signal lights uh, just to kind of make the front end of these a little bit more available. I'm kind of I'm tired of seeing uh, round headlight grill setups for $400 online. Um, I didn't want to pay that for one, uh, so I won't, and we'll have one out to you guys pretty soon. Um, so that's it for now.